You know those people on Facebook that you don't even know that try to add you? Let's just say I'm one of those people. It all started about a year ago, I think. But I can't really remember since a lot of things have happened since then. Let's start at the beginning. I never really had an intention to join Facebook, being I was a first class loner and very few friends. I didn't want to humiliate myself by letting the whole world know how much of a loser I was. But I was persuaded after hearing everyone talking about it. Not to me, of course, but around me. Just loud enough to, for me to be able to hear, though. I hated how no one ever talked to me. It was like I didn't even exist or something. Like my very existence meant nothing to these fuckers. I was tired of being a complete outcast, so I decided to create my very own Facebook. It was scary at first, you know, letting the entire world know what I was doing. I was basically giving up my privacy and freedom to try and finally fit in. The irony of the whole thing was that I was afraid of letting stalkers and serial killers know what I was up to. But I'll get back to why that statement turned out to be a little ironic later. Anywho, at first Facebook seemed to be very foreign to me. I had zero messages, zero notifications, and zero friend invites. It was like in the real world, only this time, the whole world could see it. But regardless, I worked up the courage to start exploring the site. I still remember the first thing I did when I started using it. I remember it so clearly. The game about the fishes, you know that game, right? The, that game was my favorite. I used to spend hours on it. I would buy countless fishes, and then not feed them to watch them die. Watching the fish die was so much fun. I would have probably stayed there forever if not for that friend request. I couldn't believe it. Somebody wanted to be my friend. I eagerly clicked to accept. It was the best feeling I could ever have. I, could, I can't even describe it. So here's where my story begins. After I clicked on his profile, I saw what Facebook was really all about. He had countless statuses, all with at least five likes each. I wanted that so much. So I began to snoop in on his friends list and added every single person that he was friends list. It took about five hours to do, but it was worth it. Before long, my page had grown from one friend to nearly twelve. And of those friends who accepted, I knew absolutely nothing about them. But because I was friends with them on Facebook, I learned everything. I passed the first two weeks adding all the people who my friends knew. And once they became my friends, I added everyone they knew. Yes, my popularity was growing. People finally began to know who I was. It was so wonderful. The kids at my school even started talking to me. It was insane. Just plain bizarre. I began to fall in love with Facebook. Addicted to it, if you will. I hated not being on it. The thought of not knowing what everyone was doing or what they were thinking was overwhelming. I hated it. The fucking school hours seemed like spending and turning in hell. But I spent every single moment that I had free on this site. I began dreaming about using it and soon enough, I stopped dreaming altogether. I developed insomnia, which was great for me because I could spend an infinite amount of time on Facebook. Especially since the school year had just ended. It was sweet to be able to spend every single waking moment of my life on Facebook. But spending so much time on it allowed me to see the dark side of Facebook. There were people on there that wouldn't accept my friend requests. I had sent tens of thousands and yet only around 2,000 friends had accepted. It was obvious that those people had something against me. Why else would they not want to be friends with me? Yes, why else? 
There had to be a solution to all this madness, and it was obvious. Yes, it was all so clear then. All I had to do was get rid of them. Oh, I still remember my first victim. So innocent. Surely I had nothing against her. She was so young and beautiful. I still remember those eyes. Those piercing black eyes. The thing I remember about her most was how much she bled and how much she screamed. It was a different feeling that I felt. Killing the girl. And I relive it. Every time I choose a new victim. Hmm. Come to think of it, I just sent you a friend request. I'd think twice about denying it. If I were you. Ha 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 